All right, and now this. So many people just cannot afford the prescription medications they need. So costs are out of control, but this morning Mainers are going to have a chance to weigh in on a proposal that could cut some of those costs on some of the most expensive drugs that are out there. Our Alex Haskell is looking into this and joins us now more with live. Uh, joins us now live with more. There it is. Hey, Alex. Yeah, hey, Lee and Sharon. Good morning, everyone. So to put this all in perspective, according to Consumers for Affordable Health Care, last year nearly one in three adults in Maine either skipped a dose of their medicine, were forced to split their pills in half and take a partial dose of a medication, or didn't fill a prescription at all because of the cost. But just across the border in Canada, folks are paying significantly less for many of the same medications. Now, Maine lawmakers are considering a bill that would cap the cost of hundreds of the most expensive prescriptions based on the prices those drugs are going for in four of Canada's largest provinces. LD 1636 would have the state find the lowest price those provinces negotiated for their medicines and set comparable cost limits here in Maine. Drug manufacturers that don't comply with the limits would face steep fines. Today's public hearing at 10 a.m. will be online and is open to anyone who wants to take part, especially those who struggle to pay for their medications. Not only are people who are unable to access the prescription drugs they need because of the costs affected by high costs, but so are, um, you know, businesses, individuals, and um, state government. We don't have the cloud in the legislature or the state to determine what prices the uh, um, uh, pharmaceuticals were charged, so we have to try and find various ways to, to limit how much we have to spend and uh, our people have to spend. So as an example, Senator Ned Claxton told me in Canada, there is a $25 copay for the diabetes drug Jardiance. In 2020, Senator Claxton said Mainers were paying $622 for that same prescription. Now there is opposition to this bill. The group Voters for Cures, which is backed by the pharmaceutical industry, claims this kind of legislation is a barrier to medical innovation. Alex Haskell, New Center, Maine.